Sure, so I've been in the industry for around about 20 years. Um, I've been in uh, a number of different roles. Um, I've obviously owned and operated my own businesses. Um, so I've had two businesses, um, which had 212 apartments. So I had 50 staff, um, and I basically ran that um, 24-7. So I obviously was working in that business for a long period of time. I've also got national sales management experience as well. So there's, there's a few differences with me. Um, the way that we market the business is um, we market it to 10 other websites. We make sure that we obviously put it, you know, you basically, we, if you list your business with me, there's no way they can't actually see your business. Basically, anywhere that we can put it online or, you know, basically in, in digital space, we'll actually list your business well and we'll, we'll put it across every, every website or engine that we can possibly do so that they can obviously have the best chance to, to buy your business. The other way is um, my expertise in the industry. So I've actually worked in the accommodation industry and, and owned my own business for, for over seven years. So I actually understand how business runs or how accommodation businesses run. So I'll actually sit there and work with you to sell these businesses quickly. So I wanna work with you and cooperate on how um, we can get these businesses sold as quickly as possible. Um, the third thing that we do that's, that's a little bit different is we communicate properly. We're transparent about what we do. Um, you have all our information before um, we, we move ahead and we obviously try and understand your business and, and how we can actually help you in the best um, possible light so that we can maximize the sale price for you. Sure. So I've been a buyer myself. I've bought my own businesses. Um, so there's uh, an emotional roller coaster basically. You've actually got to go through and figure out, do I actually want to be a business owner? Um, what kind of business do I actually want to buy? And, and at what level can I actually buy to? And, and what expertise do I have to actually run that business? So there's, there's a number of ways that obviously they, well, there's a number of things they're going through. They've also got to talk to their family. Um, so I understand all that. I understand I've been through that situation. I understand how. Um, it can be a very conflicted dis, uh, decision and you're taking a huge risk. You know, you could be moving state, you could be um, spending millions of dollars on a business that you don't know too much about. You know, there's lots of different things that are going through your head. Um, the banks are asking you for this, the solicitor's saying this, you know, the accountant says, oh, I'm not sure about this, you know. So you're getting all these messages as well. So I'll just cut through that and actually explain to you exactly why it's a good or it's not a good idea. Now, I won't actually tell you um, to buy the business if I don't think it's right for you. That's the other thing that I'll do is I'll actually sit there, we'll work out obviously what's suitable for you, find out the skill set that you have and how we can apply that to the best business that, that you can actually buy. Yeah, so it's, it's a good question. Like really valuation in accommodation can, you know, can be come in many different forms. And basically there's three different types of ways that you can actually value a business or not three ways, but there's three areas that you actually value the business. And one is you've got to uh, value the business itself. What's the business worth? How is it trading? What's it been doing over the last few years? And how, how is it going to perform into the future? The other is the real estate value itself. Um, so you've actually potentially got you know, a manager's unit or, um, or you're on a freehold title where you're actually trying to sell the whole thing. And the third is that you know, you've got capital improved value. So you might have actually refurbished a product. You might have um, put more money into it. So it obviously has a value there. So you've got to actually put all these together and actually understand that these are all go to what a valuation of business is. And, and how you do that is obviously very tricky because you've actually got to make it attractive for the buyer, but you've also got to maximize the sale price for the seller as well, and that's the key thing. Yeah, so the providing buyers is obviously the key here, isn't it? You know, you've got to find a buyer to obviously match um, to your business. So it's all about marketing, really. You know, it's about putting it in front of as many people as possible in the quickest possible time. So obviously we use websites, um, we do digital strategies, um, whereby we will email our database. So we've got a, quite a large database that we can actually rely on. Um, I might actually give them a call as well. There might be some uh, buyers that I've actually had that potentially haven't bought another business that I had for sale that, that can potentially be a good fit for this business. And the other way is I can potentially um, post them a letter as well and, and post out some information to people that may be around your area that actually might have an interest as well in, in, in buying a business. So there's a, a multitude of options, but that's where we really come into our own is that we, we're a specialist in that field. So we know how to market businesses to get the businesses sold for the maximum price in the quickest form possible. I just want you to know I'm in your corner. You know, I understand how it feels to run a business and I own an accommodation business and it can be all encompassing. You know, it can be 24 seven. Um, it's a thankless job. You might have to get up at two o'clock in the morning, you know, to clean a room or, you know, do something for a guest and you don't get thanked for that. So basically, um, if I list your business or if I want to help you with your business, it's because I genuinely can help you and I understand what it's like for you to run an accommodation business and in the end, when, when it comes time to sell, that you actually want to maximize the, the potential sale price that you want for your business. And I'm here to help you do that 
in many different ways. And I can use my sales skills that I've learned over 20 years, and I can use obviously the accommodation experience I've garnered from actually owning and operating my own businesses as well to maximize the sale process for you.